Hi guys, I am Genevieve from Charm Customs and today I am going to be showing you how I created my Legend of Zelda pair and it's the best pair to date that I have ever made. Be sure to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Charm Customs, and subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already and leave a comment and a like to show your support. Let's get started! All right, my Legend of Zelda friends and fans, and my charm customs friends <laughs> this pair was so much fun to make here you see me blocking out the base colors i went with link holding the master sword and it's gonna be glowing and i want him to be in front of like a beautiful waterfall i took all the backgrounds from images that i got from watching the game on YouTube. I actually watched the game on YouTube. I was so sad that I couldn't get a Wii U and play it because I love Zelda, I love Breath of the Wild, um, and I really wanted to be able to play this pair before I made it. So I literally just sat and watched a 60 hour playthrough. My god. And then I think I spent maybe 70 plus hours painting it. I wish that I actually timed it, but I do know that it took multiple weeks of me painting every single day which is why I ignore people when they complain about my prices because they have no idea how long it takes or what goes into what I do. For example, coming up with Zelda in this badass composition of her with her bow of light. This helmet was the most fun thing to, to paint on the whole shoe. I really, really liked the composition of this piece with her hair hand like going around behind Wolf Link and um, the glowing yellow wolf off to the side with the moon just comes together so beautifully. So as you can see, once I have the color blocking in place where I put down all the shadows and lights um, and colors, I go in and start to work on the details and really refining everything and bringing it all together. I think, you know, sometimes I work this way, sometimes I work piece by piece, but I really enjoy doing the overall first just to see how it would kind of look. I really wanted to somehow integrate the twilight mirror into this piece and I found the perfect spot for it to fit on the back of the Zelda shoe. I actually had to repaint this Triforce because I made it way off center but it looks a lot better now. <laughs> this part I came up with this design which I thought was really sweet and kind of showed the relationship between the two of them, the way that they save and protect each other, and it's kind of a tender relationship. I really liked this design. Also, the whole time I was painting this, my brain was like, boo doo 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 <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Perfect. And then when I start to use my airbrush at the very end, it's a bit of a finishing touch and I do glowing effects with it, like on the Master Sword, on, say, the moon, or Midna's body. I really want to emphasize how important this piece has been to me and my career as an artist. It's the first chance I got to really put my heart and soul and do the whole entire pair. Um, normally it'll just be like half the shoe, but for this one, I was able to do the whole pair and spend a lot of time designing it. And it just, it really shows in the way that it came out in the end. I wanted to give a massive thank you to the person who commissioned this piece from me and trusted me with it. You guys make everything okay. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without you. I hope to make many more pieces like this.